Cookhouse, about an hour's drive from the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. The severe levels of poverty here hits you the moment you turn off the N10 into town. It's midday and the 32-year-old Colin Blow is hard at work since 5 a.m. Unemployed since 2019, this is his only means of income. Colin, how tough is it for you as a father not able to have money for your kids and depend on this wood? It's quite very hard for me, especially without a job, stuff like that. So I have to collect this wood every day, day long, so that I can get money from it and to keep myself warm. So that's actually what I have to do every day long. So with all these people around here, green farms, uh, pavings, we don't even get a job there. They actually take from the families and stuff like that. So, you know, there's a lot of us who are sitting just here and without a job and anything like that. So it's a bit very quite tough to deal with it and with my children, my Everybody relies on me at home, except me from my mother. So it's very quite a very hard story. Just down the road, we meet 25-year-old Nkosinati Piliza, five years out of school and still unemployed. He gets by by so-called peace jobs. Things are really tough, especially for us young people, because we don't have jobs. What even worries me more is that when this peace job is over, I don't know where I will get another job because by the end of today, we will be done with this house. And he is one of many. The 21-year-old Wunduntonga spends his days sitting on the porch, waiting for something even he doesn't know. To be quite honest with you, this one is difficult for me, you see. As a result, I I've got some of the things that I need to buy, you see. But because of the income, so it's difficult for me to get those things. As a result, I have to wait for my parents, of which it's wrong because of, I'm a youth. As a result, I'm willing to do anything now because of, I'm strong enough to work. Uh, in fact, I experienced, as I was saying to you, that I was having a peace job that at the at funeral part, whereby I realized that I'm, 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 I'm capable to work. Many young women from Cook House rely solely on their child support grants. What is very common in Cook House is seeing a lot of young people pregnant because we want money, because we are not working, so most just opt to rather get pregnant, even if they don't want to, because there is no money. But if you fall pregnant, you get that 400. Even that is too little. Figures from StatsSA show that the 3.3 million unemployed people in South Africa falls in the youth category. More than 60% of young people aged between 15 and 24 does not have work. Here in Cookhouse, agriculture is a economic driver and wind electricity generation on a much smaller scale. And as the joblessness rise, so does alcohol and substance abuse. It's, in, it's making me mentally unstable, phys physical and emotional and mentally not not well at all because I see people going to, to work because I'm a young person, I just finished my matric. Young, old people, they go to work, but I'm sitting here, I have a qualification, I have a matric certificate for me to apply and get a job. But when I apply, it's like when you, like they say, no, no working experience, so no work for you. So, she says the level of youth unemployment in Cook House is very high, especially for females. Jobs are very scarce. There, in fact, isn't any jobs. So most ladies here become victims and spend most of their times in the tavern because there's nothing to do and there's no money. She's pleading with government to please help them. There is also no social outlet for the idle young people in Cook House. That's their question. That's all.
There is only one thing that you will see on every street corner in Cook House, and that is a tavern. But the recreational places or places to take your children to, to get a skill, you will never get. There is not even a mall here. Look at these young men. They have poverty written all over them. If you are going to hire any of these young people for a small job and you give them five rand or ten rand, all they think about is Dacha or Mendrex. It's wrong. These kids were never created to resort to drugs as a lifestyle. The next generation are still blissfully unaware of the dire situation the people around them are in. They still have the shimmer of hope in their eyes as their future lies ahead of them. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Cookhouse in the Eastern Cape.